Let's talk a little bit about Pastor David Lynn with Christ Forgiveness Ministries. This is a man who just had his license revoked to hold church activities in the city of Toronto. Guys, welcome to The Conservative Truth. If you don't mind really quick giving this video a like, share it across all of your platforms to help me spread the word. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications because YouTube has been heavily censoring my content as of late. Just keep checking back here to the channel on a regular basis because if you just watch these videos strictly from notification alerts, you're probably missing quite a bit of these updates. So just keep coming back to avoid any of that. Now getting back to Pastor David Lynn, Christ Forgiveness Ministries. Talk about a guy that has been through a whirlwind uh, of just trouble, hardship this year, 2019. Back in June, of course, he was arrested when he was trying to preach the gospel uh, in Toronto, and he was preaching to some people who were, you know, LGBT, and you're not allowed to do that in Canada. So he was arrested for what they said was disturbing the peace. That's right, because Christianity is not welcome in the city of Toronto. This is a guy who, by the way, was trying to get all these charges dropped, but no, he's going to have to go to trial in July and August of 2020 for this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, to make matters even worse, he was holding his church services at the Pam McConnell Aquatic Center. Well, that was until October, when October 10th, he receives an email saying that he was no longer welcome to host his church activities there at the Aquatic Center because they cited inappropriate speech. I'm using inappropriate to replace another word because YouTube doesn't like it when you say that other word. For inappropriate speech activity, he was being evicted and had to leave immediately. Now, they're saying this is all because he hosted a free speech rally back in September, and they said that he was spreading that inappropriate activity during the rally, which is completely ridiculous because it's a free speech rally. But I guess you don't have free speech in the city of Toronto. So because of this, this guy lost his place there at the Aquatic Center. They were holding services temporarily in a park for three weeks in the freezing cold, mind you, until they finally found a temporary center to house their services, but they've since been, you know, let go of that. They're still in the process of trying to find a permanent, you know, place to hold their services. But I mean, the real estate, they're looking in downtown Toronto right now is incredibly expensive. So this is a man that's clearly being discriminated against. But the bigger picture here is that this is a sign of things to come for Christians. The persecution is getting worse. And I don't know, I mean, are you guys seeing what's happening here? I know a lot of people just kind of brush this off as, oh, it's just not a big deal. But no, you have to understand they hate Christianity. They hate what you stand for. And let me take it back to the Bible. What were the words of Christ himself? He said, you would be hated by all for my namesake. You would be persecuted. Many of you would be brought to death for being my followers. So this is going on right now. Where is this all going to lead to? I don't know. Let's keep Pastor David Lynn in our prayers because he is certainly going to need it. This guy is, is in a, a huge battle right now as immorality is rising and Christianity is looked upon as criminal. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.